Hi there, I'm Charlie and I'm coming to you today from my locals community with your daily dose of business inspiration. Come on over and join me at askcharlieleatham.locals.com and follow along or become a supporter to join in the conversation. To be a supporter, it only costs $2 US per month. That ensures that we aren't hit by spammers and trolls, which is always an issue on the internet, but it also helps me to keep creating content, content like this, content like my past, um, my podcasts, and content like the tutorials that you see go up. I hope you find that content useful. Now, let's get on with our daily dose of business inspiration. I want to talk about doing the hard things when they need doing and not putting them off. The conversation is actually inspired by uh, my son and I having a discussion over the weekend. And I think it's really valuable and has some real great applications, really great applications in the business environment. So the discussion that my son and I were having was about some work we had to do on my car. He's an electrician and he's putting solar and uh, power on it so I can go traveling and be self-sufficient while I'm traveling. Yes, a real digital nomad. How excitement. Um, But really what it came come down to is that we had this job to do. We were starting to run out of time. We'd set a time frame to do it. We were starting to run out of time. And he said to me, look, I could do this. This is easy. Um, It will get you on the road, but it's going to have to be redone soon. It can't, this won't be sustainable. It's a, it's a patch, if you like it. it, It's just a, a thing that gets done just so we can get things moving or we can take the extra hour or so this afternoon and get it done properly. And you don't have to worry about it again. Uh, And I'm like, well, okay, so what's the, What's the other con on that? That was one con. That's a great That's a great sort of cost-benefit analysis right there. But what's the other thing? Like if we come back and do it, like if you do it now and I come back and do it in another week or so when I have a little bit more time and you have a little bit more time, is it going to be more work? And he said, yeah, it's going to be more work because we have to undo what we've done here and then redo everything. And I'm like, right, well, that answers my question. We do it right now. We do the, the best thing we can do now. And we get that done. As long as you're happy with that, that's what we'll do. He said, yeah, I'd rather do that. So there you go. So first of all, I had to ask him, what would you rather do? He's like, well, it's your car. What do you want? I'm like, no, what would you rather do? Because this is your labor that we're working with, your time. As much as it is my time and my um, convenience, it's your time. But it's also about, well, I'm respecting my time and his time by not having to come back and redo it again in a couple of weeks. Okay, so... That's about doing the hard things when they need doing. Uh, It's also about taking personal responsibility um, and, you know, addressing things when they come up. It's like, well, I I could just ignore that and it won't go away and it it doesn't ever go away. How many times have you gone, if I just put that to the side, it it won't bother me again. And it comes back to you and it keeps coming back to you and it keeps coming back to you. And every time it comes back to you, it's a little bit harder to do it because there's another thing gone wrong or there's another thing added to it or there's something else you need to do to to get that addressed. So doing the hard things when they need doing is often the best thing that you can do for yourselves to keep yourselves moving and make sure that you're productive and that you feel like you're achieving or that you achieve things. If you don't do the hard things when they need doing, it's quite often that you're just going to have to keep redoing that job because you haven't done it I'm going to I'm going to be really sort of funny here. You haven't done it right to begin with. Now that I've said all that, I am going to say that there are times when you can actually put off doing those hard things and uh, do them at a more convenient time. But you still have to address them and you still have to make the decision then and there as to how you're going to address it. You can do the easy thing. Often doing the easy thing will let you move on and do the next couple of things you need to do. Make sure you get your productivity up all of that and then you can go back and say right this thing now I have to do it the times that you would do that I feel and I'd love to know your commentary about it is uh, the things the times that you would do that is when going back and redoing the work or addressing the hard thing doesn't mean that you have to redo the work doesn't mean you have to undo things to to do them again doesn't mean that you have to uh, re-engineer things to make it work 
you, you, you've you gone one step in that path, you've got it going, and then you can just go a little bit further to make it better, I guess is what I'm trying to say. What do you guys think, though? Let me know about what you think about doing the hard things when they need doing, doing things as they come up rather than putting them off and putting them off and putting them off. I would love to hear your commentary. Please leave some comments below. Let me know. Come across to Locals. Ask charlieletham.locals.com. Start a conversation there so we can really dig into it. Also, please remember, like these videos, subscribe to my channels, ring the notification bells. And if you're seeing this on, on um, areas that will let you give ratings, five-star ratings. I love five-star ratings. It would be really helpful. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you all tomorrow.